Hi, I'm Bill McLaughlin, Editor-in-Chief of Furniture Today. Welcome to this week's edition of Frontline Friday. Uh, last week you enjoyed some tariff talk from uh, Tom Russell and Powell Slaughter while I was away at the Home Furnishings Manufacturing Solutions Expo. Uh, we will have coverage of that show uh, in our August 6th issue, including uh, photos of all of the eight leading furniture companies that received awards at that event. Uh, we'll also have some news uh, about next year's event. I have with me here this week a special guest, the newest addition to the Furniture Today family, uh, Ann Ware, who joined us just this Monday. Uh, and uh, as you're watching this, if you're heading out to Las Vegas, you will have the chance to meet Ann in person as uh, she will be heading out to Las Vegas for the first time. This is your first trip to Vegas. That's correct, mm -hmm. yes. I've been in the airport, but I have not visited the Strip. There's so much outside the airport. You would be right. amazed. <laughs> I'm sure. So for um, people in the home furnishings industry, I think many of them know you already because you've been in the business before, right? Tell people yes, about I that. worked with uh, McNeil Communications with Karen McNeil for um, seven years. Um, just left a couple years ago and worked with several different furniture companies in case goods and upholstery, um, and it was, it was great. Yeah, we're, we're glad to have you here. Now, you have a unique new beat. I'll tell people what it is. And since this is only your first week, I won't make you try to explain <laughs> it to people. But, That's great. Um, this Thanks. is something that we're calling the next beat. And it will encompass uh, some technologically related bedding, mm -hmm. uh, some technology, some e-commerce, some disruptive retail. And, and the connective tissue of all that uh, is that these are very forward-looking uh, mm -hmm. reports about what's coming next, right? How do you feel That's about great. that? That's very exciting. It's going to be great to be on the cutting edge of technology and with betting and kind of looking ahead to what's coming down the pike. I think it'll help me to learn more about the industry. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when, when you were in the, the home furnishings industry the first time, um, what kinds of companies did you have the opportunity to work with? Them? We worked with Universal. Uh, I worked with Norwalk with beautiful uh, upholstery there, um, Guildmaster. No, no, you get to see a, a whole other side of it. Exactly. That's what's great. The technology and bedding. I hadn't had much experience with bedding, so I'm excited to learn about that part of the industry. Um, you know that our bedding editor, Dave Perry, has been known to literally climb out of a bedding box so that the beat might get tough. Really? Yeah, it's, <laughs> okay. it's a physically demanding... Uh, <laughs> he sets demanding. the bar high. He does. Yes, he does. big so shoes to fill. We'll, we'll look forward to the Anne in a box. Whatever so it takes to get the story. Exactly. exactly. That's it. So, Hardened journalist. Yeah. There so, we go. Um, so what brought you to, or what appealed to you when you, when you saw a position in furniture today? What made you say, hey, I'd like to go? The publication is so well regarded in the industry. It's an honor uh, to, to have that. I got my business cards today, and it's very exciting to see my name. Um, so it's an honor to learn from, from the guys that have been here for a long time and to, um, to help share the news about the industry um, from such a well regarded publication. It seems that all of the new people who join us have unusual desk ornaments. When Addie Elliott was here, she talked about her, her carnivorous plant that can't eat on its own. You have a punching bag on your desk. I do, I do and I do not have anger management issues, so I have no <laughs> Maybe <idea>. that's why. <laughs> there we go. Actually, it's a great conversation piece. People will come up and chat about their day while uh, hitting the punching bag. and So I found it's a great way to break the ice with, with new people. I haven't put photos on there yet, so. Hmm. We'll see if that's I'll, something I'll, that's I'll hope mine along. doesn't end up there. There yeah. we go. <laughs> Depends on the week. So if you need to release a little tension, come visit Anne. She's got a punching <laughs> bag. Right. Um, if not, please reach out and say hi to Anne. Her email address is awear, A-W-E-A-R, at furnituretoday.com. Uh, and we look forward to giving you the opportunity to meet Anne in Las Vegas. So till next week, I'm Bill McLaughlin with Furniture Today, wishing you good business.